talk about how to install mount bank and also we'll create some simple imposters and try to play with couple of virtualization scenarios okay so to start with mount bank you first need to install the node okay and you can install it from node.js.org uh, if you, you can install this one for if you're using windows then you can go and install this one which is a stable one or or you can use for this one if, if this is the this is the current with the latest features but i'll recommend you to install this one because it is the most stable one okay so once you install with the node.js you will you can you need to install the mount bank so installation of mount bank is very simple you just open your uh, git 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 bash and run this command okay so once you run this command is automatically installed your uh, uh, mount bank okay so let me run git bash okay so okay so install it you simply just copy it and you will paste here okay and it will install the mount bank so i already installed so i'm not going to install once again okay you can also follow this page i have created it it talks about how to create a service virtualization from scratch use the mountain bank okay all the steps are, are mentioned over here okay to run the mount bank you just write mb okay so it will going to uh, start the mount bank server okay now you can see the mount bank server is up and it is it is waiting at 2525 port okay now let me go and see as you know i need to create a hello world stuff for it Okay, the simplest way we can create it using the curl and then we can pass on this stub information. And as we know, this is called the imposter. Okay, so, so now the server is running here. Let me open up another git bash. Okay, and now let me copy this simple git bash sorry imposter and let me show you and paste here okay now i'm clicking enter now you can see the imposter is created and it is waiting as 300 okay 3000 okay and now now let me do a simple curl command okay to hit this imposter and to get the hello world to do that just we need to write this line curl minus i and then http the local host colon 3000 okay now i'm writing curl and i http localhost three hundred and enter now you can see it is responding me this hello world so it means the imposter which is running in a mount bank and it is listening at 3000 port and now when I'm hitting that imposter okay using the curl so it is returning me the body which is hello world now if you look at the imposter here if you look at the imposter here which is 
which is using the protocol HTTP and listening at the port 3000 and the stop contains the response inside the response the body is hello world another example so here you can see the imposter is listening as 3000 and it has a predicate if the query string is equal to Sumit then it will return my name is Sumit and in case the query string is Ghosh then it will going to return my family name is Ghosh okay so I have created a JSON file and it is in now in this folder so this is the JSON file I have created let me open it so you can see I have copied the same one and I have created this JSON file okay to run uh, the mount bank let me open the gish bash here okay okay now now we can write using config file config file command so here i need to give write mb then there's this config file then then i need to give uh, the file name which is array JSON. last time we ran using the curl and this time we are using the config file command to run uh, run the imposter now the imposter is waiting at the port 3000 and looking for the request okay so i have another git bash and let me run a curl command curl nsi and then http colon dash dash local host on 3000 now what i need to do is q is equal to query string q is equal to submit and now you can see the request is hit the imposter once again and now in this case it is returning my name is Sumit okay let me change it to Ghosh and enter now you, you can see it is returned the family name is Ghosh I have created a simple post on creation of virtual service from scratch using the mount bank and we talk about the installations and how to configure the service virtualization using mount back in this post um, you can refer this post for more details in the next video i'm going to talk about more more concept and details on the mount bank so please stay tuned and thank you for now